Hi, this is Jens from TC Electronic. Today we'll take another look at guitar uh, amplifiers effects loops and using digital effects processors in them. Um, we have again the Mesa uh, dual rectifier here which has a parallel effects loop and we have the uh, Koch amplifier with, which has a serial effects loop and we're using the G major 2 uh, TC G major 2 guitar effects processor. And we'll be looking at how different effects are suitable for parallel loops and different effects are suitable for uh, serial loops. Okay, the first example we have the uh, Koch amplifier which has a serial effects loop. And we're using the GMAT2 here and the uh, kill dry parameter is set to off. <laughs> So we have the full guitar signal through the unit. Right now I'm using reverb and delay. Works perfectly. Let me show you how the tremolo effect works when you have uh, the G major 2 in a serial effects loop. The tremolo effect simply turns up and down the dry signal. Because the entire signal is going through the unit, there's no problem. The tremolo works exactly as you want it. This would also apply on compression, would apply on uh, the EQ. If you want the EQ to EQ the dry signal, it works perfectly well with the noise gate. Whammy effects, where you have a 100% mix and you want to take the entire uh, tone and, and pitch it up uh, one or two octaves works perfectly. Now we'll go to the uh, amplifier with the parallel loop and see the differences. Now I'm at the dual rectifier and I've set the mix uh, knob on the uh, effects loop to its normal position. And I'm on the G major 2 uh, and on the G major 2 I've set the kill dry function to on. Let me just show you how the tremolo we used before on the serial effects loop sounds now. Yes, there is tremolo, but it's not very much, and that's simply because we have the dry signal routed around the tremolo and some through the tremolo. So that's actually the problem with a parallel effects loop. There are effects suitable for serial effects loop, and there are effects suitable for parallel loops. Uh, also, let me show you the delay and reverbs. They sound very fine. These are typically the effects you would use in parallel effects loops. So, to make a conclusion, both serial and parallel effects loops are good solutions, but depending on what effects you want to use, one may be preferred to the other. Uh, delay and reverbs work, works perfectly well on both serial and parallel loops, but uh, effects such as tremolo or vibrato or compression, all these effects that have to uh, regulate the level of the signal, that is a problem in a parallel effects loop. <laughs>